Put it on there, yep. <coughs> right, just try the front one, that's moving a little bit. Now, if you listen, from the sound, that don't want to move. Right? You can hear from the sound that he's moving. Um, that one's moved, let's hit the bottom of that. Right, so that's cleared all the sheeniness in the bore. That one don't want to move at all, so. so you're going to have to put that one in the press. Right. Okay, right. You in? Right, get in here and have a look at the bores. Right, you can see the clean bit, we've knocked it down. Basically, you want to get in there with a sharp sanded blade and just um, scrape off the shit like that. Ones that are going down, that one doesn't want to move. And you can see here, you can see in this one, Jeff, you could just film that bit in the corner there. You can see the little clean bit of the ball underneath the rings. This might not be too bad. You never know what this is like, but um, I need to say the most as you can. So clean that round and then use this hone. Oh, the drill. Right, now you can see that's cleaned all the rough shit off. Now I can poke the piston back out. So I'll do that on these three, knock them out, and then I'll put this one in the press. the other side. Three didn't want to move, so Normally you'd have an assistant catching them the other side, but you know, filming it at the same time. Anyway, this one's a bit more stubborn, so we'll put this in the press. Oh, you can see there's a bit of chunk in there. What was that, Chad? Oh no, sorry, right, no, it's just dirt. Uh, I thought it might have been a broken ring, but you see, this is the kind of thing you end up with. All the goo where it have been sat outside for years, but if you clean the inside of the bore, it just makes it easier like that. So tap them all down first and then tap them back up rather than trying to force them up. All you do is just end up breaking the rings and then killing the pistons. And you never know what you may or may not want to use again. So it's best to keep it just in case. Right, let's put it on the press. Um. Alright, 
There's a little tab on the bottom of that. We'll just go on that. It's not moving at all, is it? Might have to torch it. No, don't want to move. Right, let's put something under there. I think it's running out of travel. Um, I'm not sure if the air press went out of travel. We put a little drift in there, but we had it up to 10 tons, so. Put it its own yard. Just light this off, Chad. Sorry, let's start it again. Stop it again. Yeah, right. So just doing this double hand, and if you're getting there, Chad, right, it just had, we warmed it up a bit, got it up to 10 tons, and you can see, can you see that ridge there where it just cracked, and then, uh, there we go, but it's still on. Clearance of a swing underneath, right? Just, uh, go to camera a second, squirt some shit in. Hmm. I don't realize this stubborn. Right. All right, let's try moving it up a bit more. <coughs> steel but they're all different rates and stuff they all heat up and contract at slightly different rates so if you warm them it just makes the molecules move a little bit Oh, there we go. 
mannequin. All right. Jumps a little bit more. Mannequin. Mannequin. All right. Did you keep filming that? When did you get all those jumps? Yeah. Look, it's only on 27 seconds. Oh, that's three minutes in it. Yeah, keep going. Right. All right. So. Nice. I don't think we can trust that piston again. So let's just um. Yeah, we we'll put the phone down. We'll just lift the block back on the floor. Have a look at this side, chat. Let's just try and get that out. There's going to be quite a deep ridge on there. This is what the piston rings are trapped in. Yeah, right, we will try, try knocking it back through and pressing it. Right, go on, I think, right. Stop filming, we'll put it on the press. <laughs> 